If you're considering adding sugar to help your cannabis plants grow, this Tobacco University video is for you. All right, let's look at using supplemental sugar for cannabis production. And when I say sugar, we're not talking about candy per se, but you kind of get the idea. So as always, here's a reference article to, if you want to look at researching on sugar applications to crops. may not be necessarily 100% specific to cannabis, but does allow some information we can start to build some potential conclusions from. So first off, here is their results from their study. They did a foliar sugar treatment uh, comparison here. And we could see that their untreated check uh, granulated sugar cane, high fructose corn syrup, molasses, blackstrap molasses, granulated cane sugar, uh, granulated cane sugar at 100% sucrose, uh, and again blackstrap molasses looking at different kind of application rates. And we're kind of seeing the soybean yield in uh, bushels per acre kind of presented here. So again, we're all looking at soybeans, but we can see that there's not necessarily a clear winner um, here in comparison. So we need to keep that in mind. Now we're looking at uh, sugar where it would be benefits to sugar. Well, lady bees uh, consuming sugar increased the survival rate of the females and resulted in increased egg production as compared to beetles who were not provided sugar in their diets. Kind of an interesting uh, finding there. The researchers suggested sugar uh, feeding is very important for lady beetle populations and a possible way to help maintain beneficial species in an agro ecosystem. Lady beetles stayed about 20 to 30 percent longer in plots where sugar water was applied than untreated plots. In the first four to six hours after spraying a sugar solution, lady beetles and the sugar treated plants rose by a factor of 10 to 20. So kind of an interesting thing here where we're maybe not seeing a change in the plants, but if we're trying to increase and maintain our beneficial um, insect populations, well this may have some potential merit. So plant defense signaling related to sugar in rice. So when we're looking at rice production and sugar, sugar applications to the root system resulted in overexpression of genes in which induced defense mechanisms within the plant. Again, here we're looking at rice. Spraying sugar solutions on plants via foliar and soil drenches resulted in half the disease pressure that is in the control plants one week later. So kind of an interesting finding here, looking at the changing in gene regulation in, in rice plants. 15 days later, control plants exhibited severe disease compared to the sugar-treated plants, suggesting foliar applications of sugar prior to an attack by a plant pathogen could signal plant defense response, responses resulting in increased plant resistance to that particular pathogen. The researchers also went on to note that all plants were at the four-leaf stage during research and were curious if they induced resistance would continue as the plants matured. So it definitely shows potential promise, at least in rice, for that early application. Might be something worth considering uh, for cannabis production as well, particularly in that early application before you're getting into your buds and flowers. So why not apply it to cannabis though? Uh, research has shown no statistical difference among sugar sources when applied to corn or soybeans with no statistical increase. Numerous research studies have documented an increase in beneficial insects in fields and plots treated with sugar water solution, suggesting application of the solution as a biocontrol method reducing pest populations. So for example, if you have aphids and want to increase your lady beetle, lady beetle population, well, sugar might be a worthy addition, particularly in those early stages of growth. While there's yet much research to be done, sugar does play an important role in inducing plant defense responses and recent studies have shown reduced disease levels in rice after application of sugar prior to pathogen infection. So again, just another consideration there. Is it going to be a catch-all, save-all? No. But does it have some potential benefits? Yes. If those benefits match your growing situation, then it might be worth considering adding to your cannabis plants.